Sami Bento blends the history of Ghana with his passionate vision of world peace. Growing up during Ghana's struggle for independence, Sami watched his human drama unfold on the streets of his hometown, Accra. Surprisingly, for an artist who has received great recognition, Sami is colorblind. Okay, well, joining me right now is Sam Bento, and he is one of the organizers of the Call cool Exhibition, um, and also one of the artists also featured in the, in the exhibition. First thing I wanted to ask you is the Call. Cool. <laughs> the Call. Cool. How did the Call cool come about? Ghana, Muntie. Muntie, Ghana, listen. Listen, the Call. Cool. Um, the origins of the call has its roots in our Silver Jubilee 25 years ago, because just around the time we're going to celebrate it, there's a politician, I don't want to name, who made this crass remark about Ghana not achieving anything for us to be celebrating 25 years of you know, independence. And we challenged him. What do you mean by that? Because um, if the country hadn't produced anything that was worth celebrating, it at least produced us artists. We're graduates from the College of University of Science and Technology. In Kumasi. Kumasi. So just to show him, we got together a group of artists called Images, and we staged an exhibition, mounted an exhibition, to celebrate our art and culture. And we decided that 25 years, when it comes to the Golden Jubilee, we'll be ready, and we'll celebrate all that is wonderful, precious, and happy about our culture. And um, Wiz and I, um, both you know, products of the College of Art, I've had this vision a long time ago that our art was going to get us places. And we're going to put our Ghanaian expression on the map. Because our, our expression is, is universal. You look at the Dinkra symbols, the wise sayings and the proverbs are very universal. But for us artists, our challenge and responsibility was to put visual imagery that would highlight the wisdom and the dynamism of our culture. And this is a product of it. Unfortunately for us, we've been the kind of people who believe in um, having a lot of us working together. Because they said, um, nobody is stronger. Non, no one is stronger than all of us. Right. So various artistic expressions, different styles coming together to celebrate one cause. That is calling, is a call to attention, a call to nation building, you know, a call to good neighborliness, you know, but through the arts. And all of us, every human being is artistic. So here's a chance. If we have made this move, then it should be a source of inspiration for the little ones who are coming after us. Well, I was going to say, you know, it is in line with the Ghana Jubilee celebrations. And interesting enough is, you know, you're showing in London for this exhibition. Um, why not in Ghana? Um, the celebrations in Ghana took place in, in March. London is six hours flying time from, from Ghana, directly north of the uh, Greenwich Meridian. Mm. So, um, and since we're a former British colony, why don't we come to the, the house of the, the former colonial master and show the world 50 years of artistic development and growth? Beautiful, beautiful work as well. Fortunately, we've also been well nurtured by you know, British art professors and teachers and stuff. And this is one way of giving back. Let us show what has been nurturing in our neck of the woods over the last 50 years. What's your aspirations as an organizer for this um, exhibition? It's not so much as an organizer now, as part of a... Uh, oh, as an artist. And um, we are part of a, the various flavors that make this wonderful soup that we've cooked. A ben kwain? A ben kwain, because we've got mixed. I love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, tell me about you personally as an artist. What, what, what was it about your being that kind of drew you to the art world? Um, I'll say I was born an artist because as far as I can remember, I've drawn. I've always drawn. And uh, my ability to draw um, generated interest, positive interest from my parents and my relatives, who normally saw me as a very troublesome, mischievous child, you know. But any time I started to draw, there was peace in the house. And um, over the years, I realized I was, I was also tutored by the late Kofi Antubam. 
stand in front of one of your pieces of work and I just wanted you to kind of tell me a little bit more about this piece of work here. Yes, this painting is titled A Gift from the Past. Our ancestors left a legacy of wisdom and, 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 and excellent success to us. It's in, our, it's in our fabric, it's in our carvings, it's in our food, and a whole lot of other stuff. And we as artists, I feel, have the responsibility to give a visual image of these cultural factors, you know, that would inspire and give guidance to the younger ones who are coming after us. Uh, and um, my um, imagination led me to um, visualize something that and, um, sort of celebrates the huge, the great families that we have, you know. You so, have yes, coming from, from way back. And we've lived in the cities of the world and the villages of the world. I see the cities and the villages in the back. Yes, yes, you know. And uh, my, my um, appeal is let's look to our past. Let's take a second good look to our past and learn from the wisdom of our ancestors. How we healed ourselves, how we cooked, how we educated. We, everybody talks about it takes a village to raise a child. That's a very Akan thing, you know. But until we put the images out for people to see, it's just words. So we are putting images to the words. And um, there's my Sankofa bed. The gift from the past. This is the Sankofa, of course. Look behind. Let us look back to the past so for wisdom to guide us for future. Well. Yes. Okay, I want to talk a little bit more about harmony, if we sort of move across. Um, and harmony, that is your, your piece, Sammy. Please tell me about harmony. Harmony celebrates the, the harmonious union between the sun and the moon, man and woman. Together, we become one. And when it's harmonious, the end product is always something beautiful, wholesome, that everybody can benefit from, right? And um, in this case, it's the sun and the moon coming together, graphically symboling a union that is harmonious and is eternal. Mm -hmm. And um, fortunately for, for us, in our lifetime, some art materials have come that allow us to really excel in our expression. And um, so when there's an opportunity to show this, we show, first of all, the excellence in execution, the materials and everything, because now people are collecting art. We want them to collect art that will live long after they've gone, that can be passed down from generation to generation and inspire those who are coming that our forefathers, they were great. They were wonderful craftsmen, and this is what they've left for us to build on. For yourself, I mean, as an artist, if somebody was to sort of talk about Sam Bentall's work, what would you, yourself, what would, what would you like people to say about you, your work? Um, wow. <laughs> I wish I could really be that powerful in influencing people. Um, you probably are. Um, Thank you. What I'd like for people to say about my art is that it's thought-provoking thought and um, having an element of making one long for the past. You know, because we should know who we are. These days, every, the lines are being blurred, um, and it would suddenly find people taking credit for things that really have nothing to do with them. Because one of the biggest shocks I had was somebody argued with me that the origins of Kente are not from Ghana, but are Korean. No way. Yes, that's the problem we're dealing with. So we have to start educating properly. Let's put the facts out down properly. It would, it would generate the, the necessary results because there has to be a reawakening to who we are if we want our nation to be the great nation that we, our forefathers promised us to be. Okay, right now, with Sam Bento, and I think as I stand in front of probably one of the most significant pieces at the exhibition, because it's called, titled The Core, and the exhibition is obviously called The Core, but I'll just let you explain a little bit more about this work. Yes, The Core celebrates the importance of the drummer in our society, in our culture, Ochema. The drummer announces God's word to the people. And we have an Ochema here to come and do that. When we were growing up, we Ghanaians know Ghana Muntie. Our country needs to wake up. And so all 
I'll say all Africans or people of African origin, descent. We have a lot to offer the world. And we have to create the necessary environment for that to, to happen. So this is my contribution to the cause. The Ghana calls and the world answers. Ghana Munti, this is a call. It's celebrating the spiritual role, responsibility of our traditional drama. And it's calling all our people. Now, in this case, because I do pointillism, I've actually tried to uh, celebrate the countless millions of our people. If you look carefully close up, you can see under the Independence Arc are the thousands. They come and they are in the hair. You know, they come in the hair because there are so many of us who have come and those who are going to come. This is the call, obviously signified by the drum, which of, traditionally the, the drum was used to communicate from village. These are the traditional front of from drums, male and female, that are used to inform the people about the things that we need to do for our communities and our country, our nation, and our people. And um, it's a, a harmonious blend of males and females looking at each other, celebrating what makes us what we are. Ghanaians first, Africans second, and human beings the third. <laughs> okay, if you tell me a bit about this piece of work here. This piece is called The Song of Life. I went to Achimoto School. Our motto is that all may be one, but our school symbol are the black and white keys of the piano. But you can play music by just playing the black keys alone or the white keys alone. But when you play the two, you get harmony. And the song of life is about harmony. harmony. And that's what um, is celebrated here. There are the individual figures standing behind the black keys. And then above them are the spirits of the larger musicians with a musical scale on their arm. So it's a, the whole thing is about music. The music that makes, makes us all happy and uh, grounded as a people. Okay, this is artist um, Sami Bento's um, work and it's called The Spirit Lives On. We have another Sami Bento um, work, and this one is called Gift from the Past. 